right let's see this question now what did they give us in seventh question this is again two marks question as i said seventh question so you have a numerical where you have given two bits so do it carefully relax and do here what did they give us which of the following solutions has higher freezing point justify the set right so we in colleague in solutions chapter we have already studied the freezing point concept isn't it what is the what are the formulas which we have studied we have studied two formulas that is what with delta a tf this is what we have studied so that delta df into the cryoscopic constant that also we studied right into molarity now what did they ask me which will have higher freezing point with the moles so one formula you have to remember is delta tf is directly proportional to the number of particles this is the concept number of particles more number of particles you get more number will be more will be the freezing point that is a concept now what is other formula which we have studied delta tf is equal to i into your concentration okay this is one more formula which we have studied already now simple isn't it now substitute this now for the first one delta tf i said more number of particles you get more will be the freezing point now delta tf i into your concentration now in this case delta tf is equal to how much is i what is i i said i already yes, uh, told you in van't hoff's factor isn't it right now i i can calculate as this here this is whole is one entity 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 5 so 5 what is the concentration 0.05 so when i solve this i get an answer of 0.25 moles okay that according to the data that is a uh, this one 0.25 moles okay that is a question which we have given right so what is this 0.25 moles of ions okay now let us solve this here in this case delta tf is equal to i into concentration so delta tf is equal to what is i you have to be very careful now why because this is a coordination compound this whole is one entity and this is one entity okay one in the coordination sphere one outside the sphere the whole so together how many are we getting 3 Plus one four. Most of the students what mistake they do? They take six plus one plus three. No, wrong. This whole is one entity. One plus three. That is four into what is concentration? Point one molar. Delta T F is equal to point four moles of ion. Now tell me which is more? Right. This is number of particles directly proportional to I. This is number of particles is more, isn't it? Yes. Now here it is point four. Here it is point two five. Right. Now <clears throat> what can we say? I can easily say conclude my answer in a box. You can calculate this and write A two S O four taken thrice has higher freezing point. That's it. You can directly write the answer in this way. Then you'll get mark for that. <clears throat> let us see the eighth question now i'm almost completing two marks questions i also shown you how to write now in this particular question right let me read the question again right okay they've given me this and then what should i find i need to find e cell value of this okay here i have already written that so what what data they've given us the cell notation i need to be very careful in solving this numerical why because as they've given only the cell notation with this salt bridge what should i do as soon as i get this particular question for calculating e cell the electrode this in i need to be first i need to write the cell reaction this is a cell notation the cell reaction how should you write start from here okay i am solving it i'll tell you what what step carries which mark now for this the first one here this is chromium okay solid what does it give it's going to form according to this reaction it is cr plus 3 Okay, it is aqueous, aqueous medium. Over. Now from here, this to this done. Next one, let us come back to this. From Fe plus two to Fe solid. So this becomes Fe plus two, right? That is your aqueous. And next comes to Fe solid. Okay, you have written reaction. Now still not complete. You need to balance the reaction. Why? Then only you get number of electrons in that, right? So when I have to balance the reaction according to this, when I take the whole reaction, Cr, uh, this one. Now from here, just see. both the electron should get cancelled done suppose if i take the first one two here okay now what will happen to the next one in the next reaction i have to cancel that and just see here 3 to the 6 i'll tell you why here i have taken 2 cr so i have written 2 cr 
done now three two is a six six electrons so when i have to take iron what will happen see here three two is a six electrons three two is a six electrons balanced here there is three so i'll write this is three simple isn't it okay we have got all three that again once again i started with chromium from chromium to plus three state so i have written two chromiums then three two is a six to balance the six i'm going to write already two are there i've written three this three electrons this three uh, three to the six and the two six i've got six electrons transaction here and to balance iron i took three over now what value did i get n is equal to number of electrons is six now let us write the nernst equation and find out so according to nernst equation what is the formula e cell is equal to e not cell minus yes you can always uh, take with that uh, already already i'll tell 2.303 rt by nf not a problem that also you can write 2.303 rt by nf log right your product by your reactant right now what is a product this one this is cr plus 3 there is coefficient here 2 is yes, have not written the values divided by fe plus 2 raised power of 2 this is the thing raised to power 3 and then the power is 3 so this is 3 this is the coefficient 2 here coefficient 3 here now let us substitute further if i simplify this how much do i get i get e cell is equal to e naught cell minus when i solve this i already got, okay e naught cell value already they gave me here i can write that e naught cell in the very next step 0 0.30 volts minus if i take this this is 0 0.059 okay i uh, means 2.303 into r t by f is 0 0.059 and what is n we got n we got is 6 log how much is chromium value now chromium how much did they give me they've given me 0.1 here this is 0 0.01 so write in terms of base like 10 raised to the power of something so if i have to write this 0.1 i can write it as 10 raised to the power of minus 1 what is the coefficient i have got already 2 divided by what is iron it is 10 raised to the power of minus 2 what is the coefficient 3 hope you understood this hope you understood this this step also done when i solve this particular numerical e cell value i get how much do i get when i solve the value almost like if i take the values and everything i get answer as 0.26 volts this is the answer so you're going to put this this is your answer which you need to do right i've got e cell value now let's see how is it distributed now for the first question when i take right this particular one the in the this one this is half mark for writing this question you'll be getting half mark here this is how we are going to give and for the next step for the formula which you write which i told you already here again you'll get half mark okay now for the procedure and everything which you substituted and you do that thing this procedure substitution you get half mark and finally the answer which you get which you put in box you get half mark so total how many half half one and one, half and half one so totally the question or you get two marks for this which you will be awarded careful this is very important to get that half mark careful for substituting half mark for again substituting the value half mark answer half mark right let's see this question on in electrochemistry this is a choice question for your sixth that is what is the sixth question yes uh, now if i have to say i am sorry it is eighth question right let's see so in this question is given to us so first i need to solve what what is i already said, I said whenever numerical is given to you try to write the given data you will get mark for that please write the given data so if i have to solve the problem i need to write the given data for this so what what is given the given is the conductivity of point 10 is for of minus 3 mole per liter okay mole per liter is nothing but concentration they have given concentration is equal to 10 raised per of minus 3 copy along with the units mole per liter of acetic acid at 25 degrees okay not required with the temperature so the standard temperature given is 4.1 in 10 raised per of minus 5 semen centimeter inverse okay the conductivity there is nothing but kappa isn't it which is given to us 4.1 into 10 raised per of minus 5 semen centimeter inverse calculate its degree of dissociation they are asking me to calculate alpha okay this is what they are asking me to calculate alpha what is the formula which we have studied alpha is equal to <coughs> m certain concentration by conductivity at infinite 
right okay let us see what else is given they, they have also given me molar conductivity of acetic acid at the limiting molar conductivity which is equal to 390.5 semen centimeter square mole inverse okay all data is given some plus numerical let's substitute what is the formula to find out basically i need to i have this data i need to find this data isn't it i need to find this so what is the formula which we have already like uh, studied all um, the, for this final formula this equal to 1000 into kappa by concentration which you have studied in electrochemistry already molar conductivity so this into 1000 into how much is kappa given to us kappa given to us is 4.1 into 10 raise power of minus 5 semen centimeter inverse okay semen centimeter semen centimeter inverse divided by concentration how much is given to us 10 raise power of minus 3 when I solve this, I get an answer of m dot m is equal to 41. This I multiply. What is the unit now? Here, what is the unit given to us in this problem? Mole per liter is given to us. Now, solve this. When it goes above, this becomes semen is here only, right? Now, centimeter. I take that this becomes okay I get mole per liter okay mole inverse also mole per liter that's nothing but concentration this becomes semen centimeter square mole inverse okay done this is the answer now substitute this answer in this I'm is equal to I'm to see 41 semen centimeter square mole inverse okay that is your uh, digit isn't it yes how much is the this one given to us they've given us it has you uh, know right, 390.5 unit also is there semen centimeter square mole inverse this and this gets cancelled ratio isn't it alpha i get an answer of 0 0.105 it is a ratio so you will not write any units that's it right no i also forgot i need to tell you the marks isn't it now careful yes so what is this for the first thing when you write for the formula which you write the formula which you write you will be getting half mark for this Right. Now, next step which you have written substitution, isn't it? For this substitution, you get half mark. In that two marks half. And after that, when you are trying to write this formula, you get one more half mark. This is again one more half mark for the formula and one more half mark. Total together, you get two marks for this answer.